All right, so I'm very excited because I'm starting a new series on the Dao De Ching. Uh, I love the Dao. It's one of my favorite spiritual books out there. And um, so I just decided to uh, give uh, some of my brief interpretations of some of the verses. And we're going to begin with number one. Numero uno, and I'm using the uh, Stephen Mitchell translation, okay? The Tao that can be told is not the eternal Tao. The name that can be name, named is not the eternal name. So, it's basically straightforward that you know, the, the, this, this life, this Tao, everything, the, 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 so, the, the invisible behind it, the, the fo world of form and the formless, right? See the birds, birds, and so, so that's part of the, that's, this is the Tao. Everything, this is the Tao that's going on. The birds, me talking to you, you listening right now. Everything that's happening in this beautiful eternal now moment is the Tao. Okay? So, how can you, how can you, you know, label it? Name, it's like this is, you know, we can name, we can name, like this is a this is a table, you know, this is a computer, this is a person, right? So the the, the by, you know we 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 by naming something you sort of diminish it. You sort of put it in a box, right? You sort of you you define it right and this <laughs> this existence is not definable it's undefined it's ineffable i love that word it's ineffable sure and i use the now i use the now i i i uh was very influenced by eckhart tolle's book the power of now and uh, later on, Ram Das, you know, he uses the phrase "be here now." So I, I, you know, use the now. I, it's a good pointer for me, and for many people. But some people, it's not, it's not. But even even by naming it the now, even calling it the now, is 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 k k naming it right. And 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 if you get this, because some people on the spiritual path especially in the beginning uh can get hooked up you know hooked on names get caught up on names right and the language that we use you know it's it's important but the Tao is beyond names beyond labels right It's just, it just is, right? <laughs> That's a word, but it's just this. It's the isness, the suchness. So, so, of uh, you know, of course, the, the the first verse starts off with that because it's sort of like a, uh, it's sort of like a, I don't want to say a warning, but it's sort of like just letting you know that. This this is so mysterious, right? That you can't you can't put it in a in a name, right? In a label, in a box, right? And then the ego could come in and say, well, and then this is, you know, you, you just check out religions today and in the past that this you have to do this, you you know, the rules come out this and this and this to to 
Uh, and, you know, so those are egoic religions, right? Created by man. So the Tao is, is beyond that. The name that can be named is not the eternal name. I love it. The unnameable is, is the eternally real. Naming is the origin of all particular things. So what I just mentioned earlier, you know, there's a, I have a, I have a, there's naming a backpack, you know, naming a chair, right? naming, you know, color blue, color blue, cars, right? There's a train line, right? There's sound, there's a train coming. The sun is setting, right? The sky, trees. So I'm naming, there's birds. I think you could see it on the, on the light. There's a truck. There's Jack Daniels, right? Spirits. There's, there's the blue line, right? So we need, in the world of form, we need names, we need, we need them to, to interact in the world, all right? To be, to sort of navigate our way through the world. So, so naming is the origin of, of all particular things. Okay, now we're gonna go for a shift. I love it. F free from desire. You realize the mystery. I love it. So, and in a way, all of, all of our sounds, all of the sounds, all of the five senses are part of the uh, um, are part of the uh, uh, naming. Is part of the uh, experience. Everything that is temporary, right? It comes and goes. That that train came and went. You hear the music, it's gonna, it's coming and it's gonna go, right? It's now winter, although it's not snowing. It's early, earlier it was fall, it was fall. We're in December. Uh, the, these had tree, you know, the trees had leaves a couple months, a month ago or so. Now they have no leaves. So, so change is happening. Things are temporary in the world of form. So let me just repeat, free from desire, you realize the mystery. Caught in desire, you see only the manifestations. Okay, so even in the first verse, they're giving you sort of a tip for awakening to your true eternal self. Free of desire, because we desire, we grasp, we, we are attached to this world of form. Right? You just watch your mind, just just scan, go outside or go to a coffee shop or go for a walk and just scan around and just notice the desire, the judgments, the labeling. This is good. This house is nice. This house is bad. This person looks this way and, you know, you, you have judgments towards them, um, good or bad. Right. So we're in duality. We're in we're in. Uh, we're in the world of duality and form in our in our mind. So we have desire. So free from desire. When you're free from desire, when you let go of desire, you realize the mystery. You realize the Tao. So already in the first verse, there is a uh, spiritual nugget. You know, let go of desire let go. And I'm not saying all desires are bad um, because there are some desires that are good. You know, going on the spiritual path, that's a good desire. You know, eating healthy is a good desire. Um, you know, caring for the kids is, is a good desire. You know, blah, 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 blah. But we're talking about letting go of all desires, just, just to let go, not like just, just so that you could realize because so that you could realize the Tao, the mystery. 
right? Let go of desires and be free. Be like a bird. Fly, right? Be free. You're free of desires, right? I love it. When you're caught in desire, so so you're you're free. And when you're caught, you see only the manifestation. So so most people but are living in this world, like this world is it. Their mind, their thoughts about it, and this is it. Right? This is it. This this is it. I'm caught. I'm all my thoughts about that. My and and we're also talking thoughts are also part of the manifestation of form and um, past and future too. Past and future thoughts. Cause because only the now or, or only right now is the true, is the Tao. Uh, everything that happened in the past doesn't exist and, and the future doesn't exist. So caught in desire, caught in attachment, judgment, in in good or bad, in duality, you're, you're, you only see the manifestations, right? Yet, so now it, it goes deeper, yet mystery and manifestations arise from the same source. And this source is called darkness, right? So the Tao here is using darkness, uh, meaning the ineffable, meaning the, the Tao. Uh, you could also use lightness, you know, light, you know, uh, uh, whatever. It doesn't, it's, it's just a metaphor for the ineffable. What is the mystery behind all of this? right source consciousness god whatever you want to call it but remember <laughs> the name you see that's what that's why that's why the name can be tricky especially when you begin on the spiritual path so this could be very important when you're on the spiritual path path and to see how caught up you are in naming things even spiritually uh you know, even the path, the path could be a, you know, this is this and you could, you could have this rigid rules about this path, right? Yet mystery and manifestations arise from the same source. So the form and formless, you know, Nirvana and Samsara are, are one. It's all the one. It's all oneness, all unity, all the doubt. Right, there is, this is it. There is no out, there is no something is outside of the Tao, right? You, you, you go 20 million light years away to another solar or, you know, galaxy, it's still the Tao. It's still part of, you go, you know, you just imagine, but you know, you go back in time, forward in time. It's still the Tao. Things that happened 2,000 years ago, 2,000 plus, when the Tao was written and when Buddha was alive or when Jesus was alive, it's the same Tao or now or whatever you want to call it that you are, that people who awaken are experiencing, right? So, and, and the manifestations, like the sound of the train and you see people going by and you see trucks going by, it's all, this is, this is all part of it as is the silence and the stillness and the invisible presence that is behind all this right where this emerges from darkness within darkness the gateway to all understanding dark so it's sort of like it's just enveloped enveloped envel the gateway to all understanding it's like wow it's just that's it 
it's it's like this mystery it's ineffable and when you surrender to these to the ineffable you surrender to the darkness or the light if you want to call it that um you know you surrender to the isness that's the that's the gateway that's the satori that's to all understanding and that's the beginning of the awakening process and uh and that's that's it and then some more other chapters give you tips about the process and stuff like that so so that's it the Tao number one so that's all I got. So love you and um, hope this has been helpful. And until we meet again next time in the unnameable, I'm just going to mouth. I'm not going to say it. Unnameable. Now. <laughs> you heard me. Unnameable. Actually, it's best if I just be silent. Until we meet again next time in the